Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tess and I live in Atlanta with my husband Samir and our three feline friends, Baby Lobster, Pungy, and Huey. Today I'm coming at you with some cleaning motivation and we're gonna get this guy, our toaster oven over here, scrubbed out and I'm gonna show you how to roast the easiest veggies that are going to be a great companion for any meal. So let's get to it. So before we start a pre-examination of said toaster oven, we always keep a little quarter sheet cookie sheet in here because we use it so often and that way I don't have to find space for it in another cabinet. You'll notice there are crumbs everywhere because we eat a lot of toast. And then we've got some discoloration from grease that's turned brown and that is even on the glass a little bit. The outside isn't so bad you'll see it's it's not too bad. It's got a little bit of some spots here and there, but we're gonna go ahead and get this clean with some baking soda and water and see if we can get it all spiffed up. just coming in with a damp microfiber cloth to get off any excess crumbs or grease and then I went in with a combination of baking soda and water. The baking soda and water mixture is being applied with just a soft sponge and that's going to break down some of the grease. Now if I'm being honest it didn't do quite as well of a job as I expected it to so I might be doing a little bit more research to figure out an alternative to get the rest of that really caked on, cooked on grease off. But it is a nice, safe, and clean alternative to some harsh cleaners. Nothing more to say, let's just waste away. One more time is all we need. A bit of truth to face, not that innocent. Ain't no what we did. I'm a sucker for your love. A little bit of nail polish remover applied to a paper towel actually did a really nice job of removing those brown grease stains from the door. So that's a really quick trick if you're just trying to get those icky brown stains off.
So I preheated the toaster oven to 450 degrees. That's going to give me a nice brown roast on my potatoes and carrots. You'll notice that I'm getting them chopped up into sticks, so I'm going to make these kind of like veggie fries. Now the difference between roasting and baking is that baking only goes up to temperatures of 375 degrees. Roasting is, are those hotter temperatures when you're at least at 400 degrees or hotter. When you roast, you're going to get that nice brown caramelization that's going to make your food taste so sweet and delicious. You should definitely try roasting some veggies in your toaster oven, especially during this hot summer weather. Nobody wants to get that full size oven turned on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys!